Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. So this time I have started over here and excuse the sack, but in this area where I had put some uh, fallen trees, you know, some piles of limbs, I had planned on coming back in and putting in stumps. Well, it is uh, Memorial Day, late in the evening, and uh, I have put in some stumps. So I've got about a dozen stumps that I cut from uh, twigs like this. Uh, again, same uh, dead bush that produced that tree, the fallen tree, and all of the uh, fallen pieces. Uh, I went out and I cut a lot, so I've got enough for anything that I could potentially do for a long period of time. But for these, what I did is I came back in and I cut roughly an inch, so about an inch, you know, about an inch, about an inch, and then just using a screwdriver, sort of wedged open a hole in the pink foam board and stuck the uh, stumps down in. Now, right in here, you can see I got into some of the uh, sculpt mold and the plaster. I'll cover all that up with additional ground cover. Still got a lot of scenic work to do in this area, but I will uh, get started on uh, that a little bit later. So that's the first thing that I've got done. So let's see what else I can get done today. Well, Tuesday evening after work, and I've been out here for just a little while. So I made up a whole bunch more of the small pine tree armatures. This is just the uh, single strand of, uh, in this case, grapevine wire. Uh, it could also be rustic wire. It depends, again, upon where you buy the stuff. So I've got like 21 armatures uh, set up here. So for this, uh, even though you can't really see it, that little bulge near the top, that's the heat shrink that's holding the toothpick on. I painted glue on just using an old brush and then rolled it in the uh, Woodland Scenics ground cover. And now I'm just going to let them dry. And uh, once the uh, glue has thoroughly dried, probably tomorrow evening, I can start uh, getting some furnace filter material and I can make up a batch of uh, very small pine trees so that I can start to use those in different areas on the layout. Still another uh, about two days before I get an order of hairspray in. Um, none of the local places had it where it was uh, reasonably inexpensive. So I had to order it offline, uh, like five bottles, but that will last me quite a while. I'll definitely be able to get this layout done with that. Uh, so I'll whip up a batch of trees at some point this week using this stuff and then uh, use some of the other. But uh, let's see what else I can get uh, into mischief with here. So Wednesday night after work, I've been out in the garage for just a little while and uh, started making the uh, smaller pine trees. So I will let the glue set on these and then uh, go back in and uh, put on the first layer of flocking, then the haircut, and then when my hairspray gets here, hopefully tomorrow, I can start to finish these trees up. So I made seven of the little ones this evening just to get started. I've got 14 more to do, but uh, that might be another evening's worth of work. Show you one more thing here yet for tonight. So the other thing that I'm working on this evening is I'm cooking up another batch of uh, vinegar uh, that I will use to gray some wood. So I've got a couple of rusty uh, nails in here and uh, some torn up steel wool. Put this in uh, the white vinegar solution just a while ago, so it hasn't really started to bubble up too much yet. But uh, I'll probably check it uh, late, well, or early tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just gonna let this cook overnight. Uh, you can see I got a lid on it. Notice that lid is very, very loose. This out gases, so you don't want to put a cover over it. Uh, you could have a problem if you do. What I'm gonna use that for is over here, I will paint a dab on each of the tops of the stumps, because this area will look like it's been logged long time ago. Uh, you know, in my world, maybe a year or two or three, uh, you know, you're getting some growth coming back in, so it's been there for a while. So I wanna gray it up a little bit just to kind of kill that, uh, you know, kind of bright look like it's been freshly cut. 
So I will dab some of that solution onto each of those once it cooks a little bit. And uh, you know, it doesn't have to be any perfect shade of gray. I just want it to be a little bit more gray. And then after that, I can come back in and I can start detailing around these uh, stumps in some of the areas yet, including putting a few little uh, suckers kind of coming out on a couple of them, you know, and uh, kind of work on the scene a little bit more. So late in the evening, Wednesday, and I did let that uh, vinegar solution bake for a few hours and it started to bubble pretty good. So I came back in and I did a quick paint and you know what? It looks already pretty good, quite a bit grayer than before. So uh, I soaked all of them. We'll see how they look after they set. It takes uh, you know, a few hours to kind of reach maximum darkness. And I'll let this bake overnight. And then in the morning, come in and maybe paint uh, you know, a few of these again, just to kind of get some uh, different shades going. But uh, looks better already. You can already see where there's a grayish tint coming in. So uh, we'll see how that looks here tomorrow. So Thursday, lunchtime, I came out and I dabbed a little bit more of the vinegar solution on these stumps. And you can see they're grayed up quite a bit from uh, what they were. And I like how that looks. I might put a little bit more on a few of these as that solution continues to uh, bubble. Uh, but uh, I like this. I think a little later after work, I'm gonna do next steps. I'm gonna start adding a few sucker branches to a few of these, start uh, decorating the ground around them uh, and see how the scene plays out. Well, Thursday night after work, and I've been out in the garage for about an hour. So started to plant uh, grass in and around some of the trees, started to add the uh, next layer of ground cover. I've still got uh, quite a bit more to do on that. But you can see I've kind of taken it up this little valley, kind of gone around and put some uh, in and along here, and then uh, some more ground cover there. I'll add multiple layers to this still, so it's got uh, quite a bit more to do. Started to plant pine trees again. Uh, got my uh, hairspray in, so started to do a few trees here, and now I'll finish the ground cover around those. And then what I will do is I will work my way around the uh, backdrop. Also planted a few more pieces of uh, super tree material. Got one kind of coming out of the, uh, the Y, the crotch of that tree and a couple coming up over here. Still got more ground cover to do around that, but this area, and again, paper sack has got the uh, haircut materials from when I did the uh, trees. So that's why that's in there, but uh, yeah, this is coming along. I think uh, before I finish this video, you know, I'll get a lot more trees in, and then I'm gonna run some trains and uh, some, take some video of that coming through these. More to come. So Friday night after work and uh, I've got, uh, well, I think, what did I say I had? 20, 20 plus tall pine trees put in place. Uh, it really doesn't go very far. I'll take you on the other side. I did a little bit over there. But you can kind of see now how the uh, backdrop is going to, uh, you know, disappear. And, you know, I've just got to start on trees on this side. So by the time I get the rest of them in, it's gonna be a fairly dark canopy, no matter which way you look at it, heading over towards the, uh, the backdrop. So I, I think this is gonna work out okay. But you can kind of see inside, I've got a little bit more ground cover done. I've still got, still got more to do. Gotta do more over there, but uh, you know, starting to get the basic shapes in. So this whole scene is, uh, oops, stepped on a box, it is looking pretty good. Uh, I'll see what else I can do. I can get some more ground cover in on this side. And I've still got uh, the uh, tree trunks, about another 16, 17 that I made that I can still make up. So I'll probably be making some trees at some point this weekend. I won't show that on video. I've done enough trees here recently, but uh, I still have these small ones that I can uh, flock and trim 
and uh, put the static grass on so I can fill in some of the smaller areas up along here. So I'll be doing that yet in this video. Let's go over to the other side and take a look at it. So from this angle, nice dark forest that even when I get a lot more trees in, there's gonna be enough open areas that you can kind of look down and see rock and ground in it. Should look pretty good. I've got uh, my back tree line in place up to the uh, seam for the uh, two sections of the layout. So that's right in there. That's pretty well hidden. So uh, this is looking okay. You know, I get more, more trees in through here, more of the backdrop's gonna disappear and, you know, kind of fill in some of this area here. All right, I got a bunch of scenic materials on here. So I'm gonna do a little bit more and I have not run trains on this for a while. So I think I'm gonna get the trains running and uh, do some video here in a little while. So those last small pine trees I have uh, given the haircut to. So these are ready for static grass. It is uh, still Saturday morning, just off the uh, Back on Track Saturday show. Always a good time with uh, Claude, Steve. We had Jerry. Dennis was uh, in military uh, this weekend, but a uh, good time with the guys. During that show, Heath asked a question about how many trees that I have on the layout. So, right after the show, I counted them. <laughs> and including these... And every other tree that I have scratch built or built, like the super tree material, you know, paint, uh, finish, I have 201 trees that I counted on uh, the layout, you know, from this side and from the trees that are on this side. So I'm going to try to keep a running count of the trees that I put in. Now, there's also a few JTT trees, like right Right there, those smaller off green, and I've got a few more that I'll put in in different areas, but pretty much every other tree, the 201 that I counted, and I think that might be low, are trees that I've built. So uh, a lot of uh, scratch building for scenery on this one. But uh, let's move on, let's uh, get these in place and run some trains. This will be the last clip on this video, long enough, I think. So put in a couple of the uh, smaller trees there. All of them have been uh, 
flocked with uh, two millimeter static grass. Coming across, I added just one up over here, just under the shadows of that tree. And then over here, little one there, and then over in here, uh, several of those pine trees, a couple of them in the center of the frame, that uh, smaller one right at the edge over there. And I think, <laughs> I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't remember how many trees I had to put in, but I think I got them all in. So anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this video. So keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time. All right, one last quick video. I didn't like where I put that little pine tree originally, which was on the same base as that, so I moved it just a little bit. Now it looks better. All right, that's it for this one. So keep having fun in your layouts. Till next time.